Hey, welcome back to No Head Beer Review. Today we're doing an unboxing video. And I'm really excited because this is actually the first beer tray these guys have done. So uh, if I was smarter, I'd be drinking a cherry stout or something, you know, because I'm popping that cherry. But uh, this is Uncle Jacob's stout by Avery, and it's freaking amazing. So it's all good. Um, so if you don't watch their channel, you should. They're awesome. Uh, beer Belly Travelers. I don't think I said their name, which is bad. Um, and... Um, it's a married couple they're very cool they like so me i just do a review every once in a while maybe like an editorial very rare and i don't edit anything i just post it the next day typically and done um they do typically like longer form videos um edited um they did a cool one they're starting a series where they review a beer uh by the bonfire that they have which is really cool uh, I like that. I love the outdoors. A lot of stuff, hence their name, Travelers. They do a lot of stuff like that. They had a really cute one. I mean, it had funny parts too, but it was kind of cute. Like they went on a date and, uh, you know, we, it was like a third wheel video where they just kind of showed this date um, out to a local brewery. So they just, they do a lot of cool different things, typically beer centric, uh, but not always. They do have the outdoorsy kind of stuff, some like, you know, meals, um, you know, things. I don't know. It's just really cool. Check them out. Nice people, like really nice people too. Sometimes it's confusing because I'm like, wait, which one's sending me the message because they're using their moniker? Um, they did send me a picture. How sweet is this? You know what I'm saying? Thank you, No Hype, for being our first beer trade. Like just cool. Again, nice down. And they wrote a nice note on the back. Just really nice, cool people. All right. All right. So I'm seeing some camo. Uh, um, uh wrapping paper and uh, again very outdoorsy people i love that i uh, grew up going out in the outdoors quite a bit all right let's get into it so what am i hoping for i forget if i said this or not we decided to do super local things and um i had uh done like one lo super local i had i'm sorry we just decided to do stuff from our state that's what it was and um i did something super local i did some state stuff i did uh, uh an imported beer that comes through New York City, so I think that counts. Um, and then I happen to get some uh, hyped beer, so I sent them something out of state that's pretty hyped. And uh, so what am I looking for? Just stuff I haven't had, haven't seen, or something I have had that I want to try again. So pretty excited. First one, I don't know anything about it. Exactly what I wanted. Nord Sky. It's what is it? Black Rocks Brewing. It's a session IPA. So. That's another thing. We have, between the two of them, our palates are the same. So you take one of me and two of them, uh, stout, IPAs. I like both. Uh, so this is a session IPA. Let's see. We at Black Rocks Brewery are proud to call Marquette, Michigan, our home. Our name is inspired by the Black Rocks, located just north of town, where natives and visitors have gathered to enjoy Lake Superior for generations. Very rad. So even the um, even this has like a nice outdoorsy theme, right? And then it looks like it's got a little description of the beer. The Session IPA is loaded with Mosaic Hops. One of my favorite freaking hops. Awesome. And 4.8% ABV. Nice. This might be a good Super Bowl beer. All right? Have a couple beers, not feel too bad. Okay. One for one. Very cool. Ooh, tall can. Hmm. Nice. I think, did they just drink this the other day? Someone the other day had a blood orange beer. I think it was them. And I was like, that sounds really good. Actually, was this their fireplace beer? Oh, or was that something? I might be getting my wires crossed. I know I'm pretty sure someone just posted a video about this. Blood orange honey. I drink a crap ton of uh, tea, and I put lots of honey in it when I was in college. I would, because it was cheaper, I would buy these giant containers of honey that you could squeeze, and I would just freaking house them. Um, I, oh my God, I love honey so much. And then blood orange is one of my favorite fruits. I was just yesterday talking about um, a fruit and IPAs at work with a buddy and uh, how much I like the blood orange one from Dogfish Head. So this is definitely something I'm really excited to try. Um, American wheat beer, awesome. Mixed with sweet honey and blood orange zest. And puree, nice citrus blend. I love wheat beers. I gotta review some uh, half of eyes. That's one of my favorite styles. I don't know if I've reviewed a single one, which is sad. All right, two for two, like that, like that. Ooh, we got a bottle. 
Steam Engine Stout. Very cool logo. Steam Engine. Uh, 6.2% ABV. Oh, cool cap. That's cool. Mountain Town Brewing. So it's a 6.2% stout. This is the name of it. I wonder if it's like milk stout, just straight up regular stout. Okay. As I said earlier, I love stouts between the two of them, IPAs and stouts. I like both. Pretty easy that way. So we got another bottle. One Dot Brewing Company. Oh, three for three. Uh, True North, 100% Michigan. I just said how much I love wheat beers. 100% Michigan Hefeweizen. How perfect is that? 5.3%. It's about what I'm looking for for ABV for Hefeweizen. Very cool. Ordock Brewing, True North. Uh, let's see. True North, Things Untamed, Superior, Wild Yeast, Hop Vines Leap, Frantically Toward the Summer Sky, Autumn is at the Door, Waving waving Grains Assemble Above the Cool Soil, uh, Scraped and Tilled. I'm oh, sorry, yeah, no, tilled by the ice of long ago. Presentation downstream of forgiving. Yeah, this is very, like, uh, romantic, romanticized. Uh, a, uh, a forgiving audience in the thicket. The escape into life. It grows here, Michigan. To achieve intended flavor, pour entire contents into this bottle. So I bet it's got some sediment. Nice. All right, four for four. Love coasters, very cool. My wife and I, so since they're a married couple, it's quick to tell this story. Um, for our wedding, we didn't do table numbers, we did coasters. And um, uh, so, like, when the wedding guests got there, they went to the board and they're like, Oh, here's my name. I'm at the Ithaca Brewing Table. And they had to go find the table that had the Ithaca Brewing Coasters. So, yeah, big coaster guy. Very cool. Oh, okay. So, I just, okay, I, so, I saw that box cover. Ooh, Galaxy Hop Pale Ale. Love Galaxy. Like Mosaics, one of my favorite hops. Intergalactic Jack. Nice. This might be another good Super Bowl beer. Nice pale ale. Again, have a couple beers. Feel good the next day at work. <laughs> cool Lego. Low, wow. Label. That's cool. That's sick. Also, it's like an outdoorsy theme. All right, one more. I kind of want to attend. This is, this is really cool. And like I said, like, Beers I can't get here. Beers I've never heard of. This is rad. Whoa. Oddside Ales Java Chip Mint Stout. Stout with coffee and peppermint tea added. Wow. That is up my alley. Um, again, as someone who loves uh, tea, I drink a lot of different kinds of tea, including green tea that has mint in it. Uh, that's one of the, I, I probably have like eight different boxes of tea at work that I'll just rotate through. And one of them is green tea with mint. I love mint. One of the few things I grow at my house is mint. I like mint and stouts. I like the chocolate, you know, mint, like a York peppermint patty. I love how those flavors go. I've had some amazing mint stouts. I've had some awful mint stouts. I really like odd sides. So this is, okay, you got me high. This is like the perfect last one for me to open. Um, yeah, it's six for six. I mean, I'm just... And again, like this one, I'm super excited about having some uh, lower ABV ones. And then some of this, this is perfect. Like guys, for your first trade, you should feel really good. This is awesome. It's exactly what we agreed upon. And um, again, I'm really excited to try some beers I haven't had. Um, I'm going to link to their channel uh, in the description. And uh, I don't know who, which order we'll post the videos. But uh, once the video of them doing my unboxings up, I'll definitely like, put it over here or here. Um, thanks for watching. Thanks again for sending it guys. Check them out. Beer belly travelers. Um, uh, so yeah, check them out. Uh, like them, comment on their stuff, uh, subscribe to them. Also that stuff to me. Thanks. Cheers.